Hi, welcome back. I would like to show you how to create the traffic light, simple traffic uh, light uh, controller using the sequence programming in LabVIEW. So first of all, help me open a new VI, such as the one shown on the screen over here. So if you would have opened a new VI, you would have something like this. Now what I did was I've actually just pasted the text label to just help us in this uh, video recording. I put in all the states over here. Right. So what you can do if you like, you can press the shift key on your keyboard, right click on your mouse to bring up the tools palette. You can use the text tool over here, the A2. Now this A2 will allow you to type in the text just like has what I did over on the screen over here. So you can see that, okay, you can just type in the text, okay, using the text tool over here has shown. <clears throat> right, but what that, that is uh, something that is quite trivial. So you need to put in the text as shown, or off, green on, delay on green, and, and the rest, the remaining text has shown over here. But what I would really like to show you is how to create the LEDs and setting the colors, right? So without further ado, let me start. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my control palette. I'm going to navigate to the uh, uh, palette over here where I see Boolean. I'm going to pull out the round LED as shown over here. So I'm going to click this round LED. Now I would like to resize it larger. So I'm going to bring my cursor to the, the side or the edge of the LED. This Boolean LED, I'm going to drag the size to make it slightly larger okay then I will shift right click on my mouse to get the uh, text tool and I'm just going to edit this uh, label instead of calling it boolean I'm going to call it red and uh, I can uh, select this uh, red text and I can press on to my control key on my keyboard and look search for the plus symbol and if you keep pressing the plus symbol at the same time holding down your control key, you can so-called resize the text to be slightly larger than you want that, that, that you want. Okay, so I have the first uh, LED done. Now what I can do next is that uh, I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to press again, select this LED, select this object. Hold down your shift control key on your keyboard, left click on your mouse, and you can see that I've actually easily duplicated another same uh, another LED. Now uh, with a different name called the red two. So maybe what I can do is that I'm going to shift press the shift key, right click on my mouse to pull out my tools palette, get the A2, the text tool. And I'm going to call this uh, Amber, A-M-B-E-R, right? So I've done the second one. Now, for those of you who prefer to have the tools palette mounted, you can always go to the, uh, let me see, uh, okay, edit. Oh, no, where is my tools palette? Okay, sorry, I'll go to my view, tab, go to my tools palette. So you can put the tools palette mounted on your desktop as well, if you prefer to do it that way. I'm just going to quickly uh, do the same, duplicate the amber one. I'm going to select this amber LED, hold down my control key on my keyboard, left click on my mouse and drag this thing over. So now I have another LED. So in total, I have, uh, I'm going to edit the text here. I'm going to call this green, right? So now I have three LEDs as shown over here. Now I can also uh, quickly do a selection on the properties of the LED. I'm going to right click on this red one. Right click, go to properties, okay, properties. So you will see the windows that will pop up. Now I'm going to change the color as you can see over here. So the color should be red instead of the green. Eh? So by default it is green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to left click on this. Okay, I'm going to then navigate to the red color. 
as shown. So when it's turned on, it will be green. Uh, sorry, it will be it will be red, and when it is turned off, it will be dark green, as shown over here. Right, I'm going to click OK. Now we can always test out the color. So using the uh, this uh, operate value, the finger tool I call, click on this finger tool, you can see that this is red in color. Okay. Now I'm going to switch back to my positioning tool. I'm going to do the same for the sec amber LED as well as the green one. So very quickly, select the amber LED, right click on your mouse, go to properties. Okay change this color right click a uh, left click sorry left click and choose the amber color has shown perhaps uh, a better color will be somewhere around about maybe here okay so this is my amber i'm going to click ok when i'm done and i can just test out this color so this is amber and this is green okay so i've just completed uh, showing you how to create the three colored led on the left view front panel Okay, I will pause my recording here.